Hello, my beautiful people. How are we doing? Happy Labor Day, or should I say happy Labor Less Day? That's what I'm trying to do. I just um, wanted to get this video done as I've been trying to get it done for the last week and it hasn't worked out. Um, I have more half empties than empties, so probably gonna start with that first. Like I said, I've just been trying to get this video up, but I just, I finished this long art show, 66 day long art show last week and I'm still trying to recover. Um, so that's partly why I haven't gotten it done, but I just want to get it done. This is all my sense of August, pretty much everything that I melted. Um, I was at home quite as much, uh, so I didn't melt a whole lot, but, um, you know, hopefully now that I'm going to be home more, I'll be able to you know, get into my waxes because I have so many now um, for my hauls. And anyhow, enough rambling. Um, let me get into, let me do the ones. Actually, I only have one of first. Um, and then I'll get into my empties. So I melted some of the Zape Poolside, which is fresh beach towels and ice citrus soda. Um, I love Zape's wax. It's uh, It throws really well for me. Um, this one um, definitely f was more on the citrus note than the fresh beach towels, but anyhow, I loved it. It was a great summer scent. I melted this uh, downstairs in my kitchen, living room, and um, dining area, so I will, you know, gladly probably get through this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get through this this summer, but I might save some for next summer. Um, but de definitely this is this is kind of a, a summertime blend for me. Um, the next one is a vendor I found on Etsy, Sunshine Scents. This is just a basic key lime pie. Um, it's good, but it's just, it just doesn't really throw for me um, all that much. So I tried it again. I think I melted this a couple months back and then it didn't throw and I just thought, let me try it again, um, and it just didn't throw as much. It's like these little, it's just like a little bar. Um, you know, kind of, then you kind of snap off. And I don't know, maybe next time you need to try doing two to see if I get a better throw. But um, yeah, I really love, I love the scent. It definitely has that beautiful key lime. Um, scent that I love, but it just, like I said, doesn't really throw for me. So I probably won't be getting this again. Not a repurchase. Um, okay. On to my, um, empties now. Um, I finished this, um, Sassy Girl Roma that I got in a D stash. This is called Bishop. It's pina colada vanilla smoothie. Um, this is good. I'm not like a huge fruity person um but i just thought with that vanilla you know it might mellow it out and it definitely does it's not overpowering i'm actually melting this right now in my in my kitchen and uh, dining room living room um i don't know if it's because i have the air on because it's a million degrees outside um it's not throwing well um yeah it's just it's just not throwing uh so i put more in the melters just hoping then that would kind of do it but it no, it's just, just not really throwing well. So um, overall, it's it's a decent scent. Um, I just, you know, it's not getting a good throw and probably wouldn't repurchase this. Um, and then I got a lot of stuff here, or not a lot, but quite a few things from um, the bathing garden. I got her uh, Halloween sampler packs. Um, I'm not sure exactly what these are all from, from the different ones. Um, it's definitely not from the pumpkin one. It's either from the spooky Halloween sampler or the um, haunted one. Anyhow, the first one I melted is called the Welch Witch. I kind of wanted to get through these too because her Halloween collection, um, you know, she opened it up and I just thought, oh, if there's some, you know, scents that I really want to, like I want to try and I like, I want to get some more of. So I quickly just started pulling them out and, and melting them. Um, but honestly, like I didn't really get, I got a few things from her 
collection, but I didn't really get a whole lot. Um, just because I'm not, I don't know, I just wasn't really impressed by a lot of these. So the first one being the Welch Witch, um, this is a no-go. I wrote it on there, no-go. Um, it just smells like soap. And it just honestly started burning my eyes. Like I, I put this in my bedroom and I, the scent profiles, uh, sandalwood patchouli. It's supposed to be um, a lush, I guess, dupe of super tramp. Um, so it's a uh, woods, but it's a bubbly sweet wood, sandalwood patchouli. And I didn't get any of those. I just got soap, like, total irritation, smelling, burning my eyes. I don't know what it was in here that just I didn't like, but I definitely did not like this one. So that is not a no-go for me. Um, then I melted the Cemetery Keys, which is uh, lime citrus, white floral, sugary sweet white floral, um, and then a vanilla tonka bean. I um, I like this one. Um, this wasn't like super amazing where I'm gonna buy more of it, but it was nice to try. I melted it in my bedroom, um, but I don't think I'm gonna be repurchasing more of that. Um, then I tried the Nocturnal Vapors, which is like a cinnamon leaf, patchouli, essential oil, and frankincense. I melted this in um, the upstairs loft. Um, and um, it just was like a, I mean, it wasn't bad. I didn't really smell the frankincense. It was more of that like cinnamon. It just like, it just smelled like a, like a spicy kind of cinnamon and that's pretty much all I got. So I don't think I'm gonna be repurchasing that one. Um, then I got into the Belladonna Tincture, which is a spicy blend of black pepper patchouli um, and vetiver softened with mellow sandalwood. Um, it says it's inspired by um, the Lord of Misrule, which um, I haven't really had that, so I don't know if it's a good dupe of that, but it was okay. I um, I didn't not like this one. This one was one of the better ones that I tried, um, but I just don't like it enough to uh, repurchase it. Now, the other ones that I tried here, I didn't finish. Um, Morpheus. This one I really like, and I'm kind of bummed I didn't order this one um, on her site. But this was um, a bigger one, so I was able to kind of chop it in half. So at least I have another melt out of this. And this this is good. It's um, elderflower, lavender, chamomile, sugared apple blossom, wood sage, and sea salt berries. And it's just like a really pretty kind of like florally woods combination with the lavender. It's um, it's really a nice scent. I think I'm gonna melt the rest of this in my bedroom. I really like this one. I would repurchase that. Um, and then this one I actually have in my warmer here now, which is the Batty Caramel Apple. Um, super cute little shape too. It was like a bat with these eyes. Um, and this one's super good. I, I definitely smell the red apple, brown sugar, marshmallow, and the caramel. It's like a salted cream caramel. And it, the, the, um, as you melt it, it kind of, uh, you know, changes. At first when I put it on, it was definitely more of like a red apple. Um, and then it almost kind of was slightly cinnamony, but not, not like a spicy cinnamon. It, it was almost like a kind of like a spice um kind of cinnamon blend and then it turned into um more of like this kind of creamy caramel which I really like so yeah I think I would repurchase this one I, I liked it and it's throwing pretty good okay so now on to okay one more I have a few more empties um the first one I got uh from that smell good shop I did a little haul from them. I didn't um, I didn't upload the video. I didn't make a video. Um, it was a small little order I did, but um, I just got like these little, um, they're not even an ounce, they're like 0.75 ounce little um, shots. And I melted this one called Little Mermaid. It's a deep blue sea, strawberry cake, and blue sugar. 
Um, this was okay. I, I thought I would like it more because I love blue sugar, but it just, the, I think the strawberry cake kind of overpowered. Um, so you couldn't really pick up the blue sugar. Um, I mean, it came through a little bit and then the deep blue sea a little bit, but like I said, the strawberry cake just was the overpowering note where it just kind of dominated and, and I couldn't really enjoy the other the other um, notes in it. So I probably wouldn't repurchase that. Um, and then I got um, Egyptian Dragon Cedar Orange Blossom from the Smell Good Shop as well. Um, this was, I guess, a custom, one of our customers did. I picked it up thinking, oh, that sounds good. Um, I don't know, I think it's the, the Orange Blossom. It just, yeah, it just kind of overpowers everything. Um, so you don't really get cedar or the Egyptian dragon. It, you just, I don't know, it's just, this is not a favorite of mine. It's just over dominating with this orange blossom. I, I just can't smell any, I can't get past that. It's just, it's just too much. And I, I don't think I will be getting that. Um, so that's all I have from the smell good shop. And then, uh, uh, one more from, sorry. Oh, sorry, kitty. <laughs> I just dropped a wax on my cat. Sorry about that. Um, one more from the bathing garden. I forgot. This is Pose uh, Poseidon's Grotto. Um, I forget the scent profile, but it's definitely an aquatic. Um, it's got like salty sea air. It's definitely got a, I love her salt. Like her salt is so good. This is good, it just, um, I don't know why, it just didn't throw super good for me, but I definitely love the scent of it. it it's definitely a, a good one to melt right now, like the summer vibes, aquatic vibes, um, but I think I might not let it sit a little bit more and maybe try again in my tea light warmer. I find I get a better throw sometimes from the bathing garden in my tea light um, warmer. So that is all I have from the bathing garden, that's it. <laughs> um, and then one thing I have from the Vintage Chic Sense is the Million Dollar Mermaid. This I love. I'm just like slowly melting through this because I love it so much and I don't want to run out. So I'm hoarding this souffle. Oh, it's so good. It's um, fresh ocean water, sea berries, bergamot, and a white musk. And it's everything you want in like more for kind of an oceanic you know kind of scent um it's just really good and i love the color and the glitter it's just super cute and it actually throws pretty well um so i definitely would reorder that next time this comes around i think i would definitely order that i like it very much um okay on to britta's um I have, these are all from her samplers. They're like smaller bags. Um, I melted my soul to take, which is a wild berry mousse, a strawberry, raspberry, guava, lavender, cotton candy frosting. This was actually surprising to me because like I said, I'm not a big fruity person, but I really like this. This was like really nice. I think maybe the lavender um, kind of mellows it out, um, but it was just like, it was just yummy. It was just delicious. I loved it. I melted um, I melted this and just thought, wow, that's a surprise. So I like that. I probably would buy more of that. Um, and then I melted Night Terrors, which is lavender, blueberry cheesecake, vanilla, bean, marshmallow. And I like this too. I think I just really like her lavender. Um, so I definitely would get that again. Um, and I forget the shapes, but they might have been like these pumpkin shapes. I have, um, this one had two and I just melted one pumpkin. Um, this is the Baba Shook, which is patchouli, sugar cookie, sweet and creamy, vanilla bean marshmallow. And I like this too. Um, the sugar cookie, or I don't know if it's the sugar cookie or the sweet and creamy, but it just really um, makes it like more dominant on like a bakery than the like a patchouli note. Um, but it was good, I, I definitely like it and I, um, I'm, you know, definitely gonna melt more of it. I have another shape of it too, so 
I probably go through it this Halloween season. Um, and then I have Dead Men Tell No Tales, which is Peach, Salty Sea Air, Bora Bora. This is definitely more of like um, a fruity note than like a salty sea air, um, you know, kind of beachy note. Um, it was good. Um, I think it's stronger on the peach than anything else. So you just kind of have to be in the mood for that, if you know what I mean. But um, it's definitely good. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it. I just have to be like in the mood for that, but it was, you know, it's not bad, I like it. Um, and then I melt, I got this um, like little coffin shape of Billy Butcherson, which is pumpkin hollow, Palo Santo, and a steel sugar. I just, I love the look of it, it's so cute. Um, so I just cut, I just cut a little chunk off and I melted this, my downstairs warmers and it's definitely, this throws, I mean, it's been a, it's been curing for a year now, so it's definitely got, it's got some, it's got some throw action going, but I don't know if it was the steel sugar, it just, after a while, it just, just kind of was a little bit much, I, um, I had to kind of take it out just because after a few hours of it, I kind of got over it, but I'm not saying I don't like it, I just, um, it's another one of those where it's like you have to be in the mood for it because it, it definitely has like more of like a maybe of a masculine note from that steel sugar um, than anything else. I was kind of hoping the Palo Santo would come through more, but definitely I think it's like the steel sugar that dominates. So we'll see how that does. I'll let it sit a little bit longer and, you know, try it again. Um, the next I have here is from Teddy B's. Um, I don't have a whole lot of Teddy Bees, but this was from my haul I got um, from her, her last RTS. I was able to score a few things. Um, one being the Third Eyed Raven, which, oh my God, I love this so much. I melted this. This was a souffle. I chopped it up. I melted this in my bedroom. This is Palo Santo Sweet Lavender Vanilla Birch Marshmallow Fireside and Cold Air. This is so beautiful. Um, I think it's her lavender that I just love. Oh, this was so nice. Yeah, it's the, the, her lavender is really good. Um, and then the the fireside marshmallow kind of like gives it like a smoky um, vibe with the Palo Santo. Um, and I guess that cold air and vanilla birch give it like a little bit kind of like fall vibes, a little, you know kind of woodsy but um yeah this is just so good I if she had this available in her last pre-order like that she just did September 2nd I would have picked more up but it wasn't available so I'm gonna slowly melt it until I can get it again this is a very good one highly recommend then I melted Silent Night which is Palo Santo signature sugar cookies and her beach treats and Another winner. This was so good. I melted this in my office. Oh, I, I love, love, love her uh, Palo Santo and the blend with the beach treats and the sugar cookie. Uh, just phenomenal. Um, it threw really well. Highly recommend it. Once this is available again, I will buy you more. This is just a souffle I chopped up, but I'm slowly going to hoard it until I can get more. And then I chopped up souffle cabin in the woods. Um, this is fir needles, smoked woods, marshmallow, fireside cedar wood, sandalwood, and a minty snow. This is very much um, like you're up north in the cabin. Um, when you first melt this, you definitely right away smell the fir needles and that cedar wood come out. Smoked woods is the predominant like it's just like super like yeah like woodsy cabin um strong wood um and uh so much so that i didn't really pick up the minty snow so much um or the sandalwood as much it, maybe it just blends really well but but i like it it was good i i recommend that and i would i would get more of that um, then, okay, I have a few from Kay's, yes, 
we have, I got a sample um, from K Scented Melts, uh, We Three Kings, which is Blue Sugar, Palo Santo, Fireside, Marsh, I'm sorry, Marshmallow Fireside. This was really good. Um, I like her Blue Sugar. It was nice. I melted it in my tea light warmer and um, I would recommend this. It's, it's really good. I would get more of that. And I did, um, I got one of her uh, clamshells uh, called arugula. It's arugula, bergamot, basil, green leaf, lily, and lime. Um, I melted three little cubes. I did it in my downstairs kitchen area, living room, dining room. And this was such a pretty, like I was like surprised because you, you see the word arugula and you just assume it's just going to be really green um, kind of notes, like kind of like almost like leafy greeny like you don't you wouldn't think like pretty like you would just think like super green but it was so it was such a subtle florally um lime um I don't know the way she blends this it's freaking amazing it was so pretty I really liked it and I highly recommend it I definitely on cold smell more of like that arugula um, and like the basil, but when it's on warm, it just blends together to this beautiful concoction of like, uh, just, yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just really, it's just really pretty. And I highly recommend that. And I will get more of that. Um, I did a custom with her. I, I did, um, it, coconut milk, sh uh, blue sugar and sandal, sandalwood vanilla. Uh, this was a custom I made and I melted some recently. Um, this was really good. It's a little bit sweeter. Like, you know, you try some blue sugars and they're just a little more masculine-y. Um, so her blue sugar to me seems like it's a little bit more, um, I don't know, more feminine-y. Does that make sense? Um, or I don't know if it's the coconut milk coming through, but it definitely... It definitely smells more sweet than I imagine it to be. Like when I made the custom, I thought, oh, the, you know, sandalwood vanilla mixed with the coconut milk to make it kind of creamy and then the blue sugar. Um, you know, it's nice. I definitely like it, but um, it's just sweeter than I thought, if that makes sense. But I like it. Um, I'm going to slowly go through it and let it cure more. I might need to cure more. So that's all I have from K's. Okay, now on to L3. I got a sample of Mac Apple Beach Nights Driftwood. I put this in my tea light warmer. Um, did really well. It was definitely stronger on like the driftwood um, than anything else, but you could definitely smell the Mac Apple and Beach Nights come through. This was good. Um, good enough to buy more I'm not sure but I enjoyed it while I melted it um, then I melted some of her blue sugar midnight blue citrus which I freaking love her blue sugar um, and this combo is so nice this was like a matrix uh, bar deal and I highly recommend it I'm kind of hoarding the rest because I went on her site it wasn't available this scent so I'm gonna slowly hoard through until I can get more um, and then I melted um, lemon, vanilla, buttercream, fluffy towels. This is really good. I um, melted this. I think I melted this in my bathroom, downstairs bathroom. And it's really, I would say, a good scent for like the bathroom or like kitchen area. It's just really clean with that lemon um, and the fluffy towels and then like that slight buttercream coming through, just like softens it up and. It's just real it's just real clean and nice. I really really like that. And I would definitely buy more of that. Okay, now on to super tarts. I melted um, or I tried to melt 17 cherry tree lane. This was a clamshell I got in a D stash. I put one out to melt in the living room and as soon as it started throwing my son said what is that smell 
that smells so bad. And so I had to immediately turn it off because um, he didn't like it. Um, but I I didn't dislike it. Um, I'm not like huge cherry, but this was actually, this is like a black cherry. It's a black cherry buttercream almond cookie dough vanilla beans. So that's why I, I put it on because I just thought, oh, you know, it's got some things that are mellow, gonna mellow out the cherry and um, so I didn't get like a, I didn't really um, get to um, experience it fully because like I said, it was just on there for a few minutes and then I had to take it out. Um, so I'm definitely going to melt this again, like probably when he's in school and not around. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't like it. Um, maybe because it had a little bit of like a cough syrupy cherry that he was maybe picking up that, you know, maybe had a bad memory from like being sick and like having to take cough syrup. <laughs> He had to relive that moment and he maybe he just didn't like it. So anyhow, I will be remelting this again soon. So like I said, I didn't dislike it, but I don't really know what to say fully about it until I remelt it. So we'll come back to that. Um, then I tried Charming, which is grapefruit sugar cookies. And this was really nice. It was... Um, Definitely, um, I mean, it's kind of like one I did in the kitchen because I just thought, oh, the grapefruit would be good. But then the sugar cookies comes through and makes it um, almost more like bakery. But then the grapefruit just kind of keeps it, um, you know, like kind of like clean and, and fresh. So I like that and I um, will be melting more of that soon. Um, probably again in the kitchen. Then I got Coraline, which is lavender and maple candy. I freaking love this one so much. I melted this in my bedroom and oh, so good. It just is like so comforting with the lavender and the maple candy. Even my husband was like, ooh, what's that? He really liked it. So I'm just like melting a little bit at a time. A little bit goes a long way too. It, it, threw, it threw really well and um, so I think I'm gonna keep this as a bedroom bedroom scent. Highly recommend that and I would get more of that. Then I melted wasp also in my bedroom, which is pink sugar, lemon zest, mandarin, peach, white rose, sandalwood, and a vanilla tonka. Um, such a pretty color too. I really like this one. It's um it's definitely like pretty because of that pink sugar and the white rose. It gives it more of like this kind of floral note, but it's not overpowering because of the vanilla tonka and the salad wood. They kind of tone it down and then the lemon zest and mandarin and the peach kind of brighten it up. So it's really a well-balanced um, kind of floral, if that makes sense, but I highly recommend this one. I, I'm slowly, I'm. You know, I can't get my hands on anymore right now, so I'm kind of hoarding this till I can get more. Um, same with this, My Pretty. Um, this one is so good with the rose jelly. This is like, you guys know I'm a, I'm a rose fanatic. And this is like a really good rose. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Um, it's got the strawberry, mac, apple, whipped cream, and pound cake in there. Um, but really when I put it in, the rose is what I, I pick up the most and I think that's why I like it so much. So I highly recommend that and I will be getting more of that when that's available. That is um, not currently available on her site. So when that comes around, I will be getting more. This is actually something I would get in a band bag. Um, and then I melted blue smoke and Rosemary Beach, which is a blue sugar, fireside, red apple, ocean breeze, vanilla bean, rosemary, and fresh mint. This is a lot going on, but it's it blends so nice. Um, I did this in my bedroom. On cold, you first get the mint with the rosemary, but then when you melt this, that blue sugar comes through with the fireside. Ugh, and it's just, it's just such a beautiful, masculine, clean, fresh scent. That ocean breeze, uh, 
really don't get the apple too much, but the way I guess it blends with everything um, adds to that, um, you know, kind of well-balanced, masculine, um, creamy, I wouldn't say creamy, it's more of like a masculine, smoky, minty, herby, slightly fresh kind of smell. <laughs> but anyhow, really good. Highly recommend it. Would get more of that. Then I melted um, Palo Santo and American Werewolf, which is Palo Santo uh, homemade biscuits, vanilla bean, and a whipped cream. This is good. But I was kind of hoping the Palo Santo would come through a little bit more. It's definitely stronger on the bakery notes. Um, it definitely smells like... The homemade biscuits to me smells more like a cookie, like cookie dough. Um, I don't know if it's more so because of the whipped cream, it's making it more sweet. Um, so I don't dislike it, but I just wish a little bit more of that woodsy was coming through. And I don't know if I need to let it cure a little bit longer or what. Um, so what I ended up doing was I melted one in my bedroom. I did one little piece in my bedroom and then I added I think I added, um, what was it? Oh yeah, Destination Wax. Um, one piece of the Suspicious Lies, which is sensual blend of neroli, rose, rosewood, orange flower, and a hint of grapefruit. I added one of these puppies in there to see what would happen. And it, um, you know, it was nice, um, but I didn't really get what I wanted out of it because I think I wanted to try to make it more woodsy and it just made it floral and I don't know. Anyhow, I recommend both these, um, you know, if you like more of like bakery on this, like if you like Palo Santo, but more like bakery, then you would like that. Um, the Destination Wax, this one's more floral. Um, it's definitely, you know, it's got a little bit of like that orange, um, neroli, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of like grapefruit mixed with the neroli. You don't get too much rosewood. It's more, it's more floral, but I like it. I like it in my bedroom. It's very nice. Um, okay, on to Sassy Girl Aroma. I got a brittle from her, the Be True, which is Beach Night Blueberries uh, cream and a shaving cream. This was super good. I melted this downstairs in my kitchen and uh, dining room, living room area, and it threw really well um, for the first couple of hours. I really liked that shaving cream came through with the beach night um, and the blueberries and cream kind of just like, it was such a beautiful blend. It was clean and fresh. Um, slightly creamy and the blueberry wasn't overpowering it just just gave a little bit of a sweetness a little tart it was super good I really recommended it um, well I mean I really liked it um, I recommend it <laughs> um, it was super good but after I think about I want to say four or five hours um, the shaving cream kind of went away and it just became more of like a berry which I wasn't into as much, um, so I liked it. Um, just didn't stay what I liked for the whole time, if that makes sense. But I liked it very much, and I'm happy to, you know, go through this whole thing slowly. It's very good. And then I got Bikini Time, which is tamarind pulp, vitamin C, asahi berry, blood orange, orange blossom, and pomegranate. This was really interesting. Um, I definitely got a citrus. Um, I think the strongest note is definitely like, you know, the citrus kind of coming through. Um, it does have like a, a tarty kind of berry because of the pomegranate and the tamarind pulp um, that kind of mellow out the citrus. Um, and then it's got the blood orange in there, which, you know, definitely kind of changes it from just like a basic orange um, so I, I really like this. I think it's good for summertime. 
Um, and I like the shape. This is her little tree shapes. They're super cute. They're like these cute little tree guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely, um, oops, excuse me. It does, it does, it's funny, it's like vitamin C, like you, when you think of vitamin C, like it, it just definitely, like, it's almost like one of those emergency packets, I've never had those, like when you open it up and it's just like, boom, like shot of vitamin C at you. So it definitely has that like right away when you smell it. But like I said, when, when you melt it, oh, a lot of the other notes come through. So this is good. It's a good summertime, hence the name bikini time. Um, so I think I will just be melting this in the summer. But anyhow, um, last one I got here is my Rose Girls. I melted quite a few things. Um, one, The first one being Mermaid Zen, which is fresh, crisp, floral, and spa. And I really, really, really like this. It was super clean and aquatic, and it's such a pretty color. Um, I melted this in my office area. It's not super strong. Um, I might need to let it cure for a little bit more time, but it did perform enough for me here in the office area where I could smell it and I liked it, um, but it just didn't last a super long time. Um, but I, you know, what I could smell, I liked it a lot. Then I melted Pink Sands, Peeps Cake, and Gilligan Brew which is pink sands, which is bright citrus, coconut, anise, jazz, jasmine, fresh air, and a spicy vanilla. Peeps cake is a yellow cake, uh, fluffy frosting, and gooey sugar-covered marshmallows. And then her Gilligan's brew is coconut milk and heavy cream. This was really nice. I really was surprised how much I like this. Um, I melted this like all over the house. I think I almost went through half the bag. Um, and yeah, this was good during the summer because it definitely, um, you know, has those kind of like notes that you want to smell during those hot weather months. I really recommend this. It's good and I'll probably hold on to it. I might melt some more as it's still summer here, um, but I might save the rest for next season. I'm not sure, but I really like that. Um, then I melted some of her cool true peppermint. I like to melt this in my bedroom. It's just exactly what it is. It's just a true peppermint, a good one for you to blend. Uh, it's just like nose clearing and just really fresh and just perfect. So highly recommend her peppermint. Then I melted this new one I got called Bohemian Life, which is a lot of things. It's ocean. Fresh laundry, blue floral, musk, seagrass, salty air, vanilla, and nong champa. This was very, um, when I first put it in my warmer, I think I melted it here in my office. It was definitely more on the like fresh laundry, ocean, and the, the blue floral and musk. And I guess like it was just more of those notes, like the salty sea air. Um, you know, kind of oceanic, and then a little bit of that laundry. But after it was in my warmer for about an hour or two, I got more of like that vanilla and that nong champa later, it like surprised me. It was like one that kind of morphed into something else. Like, so I really liked it. Um, I'm super glad I picked this up. It's really a complex um, one. It's, uh, it's got a lot going on, but all in the best ways, so. So there's that. And then the last one from Rose Girls is Marshmallow Fireside Cookie Land. I believe I got this in her, one of her samplers from her last, um, one of her last RTSs. Um, this came. And um, this is really good. I was surprised how much I liked it. I melted it in my downstairs living room, kitchen, and dining area and it threw really well. I 
generally get pretty good performance from rose golds. Um, so this was really good. It definitely, I think, is stronger on that cookie land. Um, and then the fireside marshmallow just kind of, kind of melts it out a little bit. And this was good. I'm gonna save the rest for another time. But this is everything I have. This is everything I melted all in the month of August, and actually a little few days into September. Um, but yeah, let me know what you've been melting and. Um, if there's anything that I mentioned that you like or um, you know that you know if you're if you're getting like a different throw on some of this stuff let me know I'm always curious on how to get better performance out of stuff there's suggestions I'm always open to that anyhow I hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for joining me stay cool and I will talk to you all soon bye bye